What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle. My name is Splattercat. We are playing some Porsche right now. There's a pretty lady walking out in front of the house. I gotta say hello. This is how we talk to ladies at the Nerd Castle. We just run up on them on the road with an axe. That's the best way to win the affections of a lady. Make sure you bring the axe. That's the most important part. If you aren't carrying an axe in a threatening way when you walk up to talk to her, it's not gonna work, okay? Hey there, I'm Emily, your next door neighbor. It's so nice to have new people move into town. You should drop by my ranch sometime. See, she's already invited us over for a date. I told you, the axe strategy works. It just works. It just does. I don't know why it works. I stumbled upon this in real life. If you show up with a battle axe in front of a woman, she'll automatically invite you over to her house for supper. I don't know. I have no idea. I don't make the rules. It's just the way that it works. Hey, buddy. How you doing? You're now a bona fide workshop owner. Your pa would have been so proud. Let me explain some of the processes for our trade. Here at the Porsche office, we post workshop commissions every day on the board over there. Based on the speed and quality of the results, we make a ranking of the workshops every week listed on the wall behind me. There are other workshops in Porsche? Oh yes, adding yours, there will be five workshops in our jurisdiction. Besides the ranking list, you also have a workshop rating, which is listed on your license. The higher your rating, the higher quality the commissions you can get. But don't worry, if you have your father's work ethic, you'll be number one in no time. Once you're done with your orders, you can pick up the commission fee from Antoine if it's from the guild or the respective person who commissioned you. Builders make most of their money from doing commissions through the Commerce Guild. But some just build items and sell directly to the market. That's fairly lucrative as well. Anyway, since this is your first commission, I've kept one just for you. Playing favorites, are we? Higgins! You already took one today! There are never too many commissions! Good day! That's Runt! He's the owner of the current number one workshop! Brilliant businessman, but I don't like the way he does things. Well, I'm sorry. That was our last one today. Hey, Press. I got a job for you. Or not. What is it, Arlo? We're looking to build a bridge to Amber Island. So the mayor finally put up the money. Well, Young here is up for the challenge. Yeah, he figured that place could be a real tourist attraction with the haunted cave and all. Check your pa's workshop handbook to see if he has a bridge diagram in there. I remember he built a bunch. If it's there, use it at your assembly station. After you're done with the bridge pieces, you need to go to the designated spot and assemble the bridge. Also, and this is important, for a project as big as a bridge, you need to dive into the abandoned ruins to gather materials. We have one such ruin in Portia. It's located at the bottom of the Temple Tower. Alright, sounds good. I don't know if we have any commissions right now we can take, but we might as well check. Let's see, we've got three shell necklaces. We've got three bronze bars. We've got two tea tables. Okay. I probably won't take any of those just because I don't know what I can do right now and what I can't do. So we'll check back in tomorrow after taking kind of an appraisal of what things are accomplishable for us right now. We're pretty much out of energy. We should probably just go to bed and catch like a gnarly little nap right in the middle of the day. Well, it's not the middle of the day. It's kind of nighttime. It's a little bit nighttime. Like, it's not like super nighttime, you know what I mean? It's not like oppressive nighttime. But it's like a little. Uh, I can refuel this right here. I would say, let, like, yeah, let's refuel the forges real quick. I think I have plenty enough wood to kind of do it a little bit. What kind of stuff can I make? I can make some copper bars if we wanted to get cracking on those. I can also make some stone bricks. Yeah, make like all of them. Make all of the stone bricks in the world. Get that thing fired. And then over here, we'll craft a couple of bars, and we'll just kind of get those ready for the future. I don't know if we're going to need them, but it never hurts to, like, future-proof your life a little bit and try to get yourself set up. My building license can be put... We should probably have that, like, at the front of the shop where customers can see it. I don't know how helpful it is, but, like, it probably does something. Yeah, let's go to sleep. We'll crash out for a little bit. 
We'll catch ourselves a little nap. The alarm clock ringing just too early, as it does every single day for all of us. It never feels like the alarm clock go goes off for me at the right time. Doesn't it always feel like it goes off too early? It never goes off and you're like, yes, that is an adequate amount of sleep. It's always like the alarm clock goes off and you're just like, ah! Like, there's always, like, drama to go along with it. Alright, let's see here. From the Civil Corps, I want to inform you that the Civil Corps of Portia can take commissions from you when it comes to gathering materials from hazardous ruins. You can post a commission on our commission board in the Civil Corps building at the northern end of town. There are some guidelines on the board that you should read before posting. Okay. They just included an extra piece of paper. At the end of the week, we need qualified people to inspect these products. To coordinate this, we will not post any regular commissions during the weekend, but feel free to turn them in. Hey, new builder, I got a manly commission for you to help you get settled in. You feeling it? I'm in need of three copper blades for some of my furniture. I expect nothing but macho quality, all right? Also, if you don't have one already, you're gonna need a grinder to create the blades. That's all I know about that builder stuff. All right, I'll take that. That sounds good. We'll get that rocking. How many, how hard is it gonna be for me to make a grinder out here? So for the grinder, we need old parts, grinding stones, and we need copper bars. We already have the copper bars. 10 stones gets us a grinding stone, and the old parts come from the ruins. Okay, let's go ruins diving today. I think that sounds like a decent plan. We're gonna run on up here. We'll pay our 20 galls or whatever it is. We'll go down in and see if we can find anything of value down in here. The ruins are great. Like, this ruin right here will actually probably keep you set for quite a while before you have to go to the second one that has monsters in it or whatever. You should be able to get, like, power stones and parts and old artifacts and things from inside of here. Should be alright. Alright, let's go to the abandoned ruins. Yes, let's do it. Hopefully I have enough money. Alright, so, like, we've got, like, our reticle thingy in here. What we can do with that is we can open and close our relic scanner. And what that does is it allows us to look around. And you're looking for little points of light that are going to be inside of here. So, for example, like that one right there. And then it'll tell you how deep it is. And then you just break out your pickaxe, like so. And you kind of just dig down to it. That's pretty much all there is to it. It's actually not that difficult of a task. And then once you get there, we found ourselves some old parts. And so that's exactly what we needed to do in order to make our grinder. I don't see anything else around. There's a little bit of copper in the wall right there. Where else can we go around here? What do we have going on? I see something right there. It's not too far down. 11 meters. That one's a little bit further away, but... I think if we start right here, just kind of in this copper pile, we should be okay. Because I need the copper anyways, so we may as well, like, do something over here. I'm gonna make kind of like a... I don't know. Like, kind of a deep little run over here. Yeah, and then we'll just kind of smooth it out on one side. Perfect. Yeah, that looks good. We got copper ore for days right now. We got a little bit of tin right there, too, which looks pretty swell. I think I can live with that. We're going through energy pretty fast, but like, eh, oh well. And then what we'll do is we'll just dig tunnels that'll take us off to the side where we want to go. We're actually, like, stacking up the XP right now. That's really good, because we're going to need it for later. We got to level up a little bit. We got to get this stamina moving. We have over here, we got like a treasure chesty thing. Oh, cool, we got mysterious data disks. All right. And that looks like a lens right there. I've already filled up my inventory. Well, that's a disappointment. What is that right there? A book from the old world about the design from a mathematical perspective. So we found like a textbook over here. I would think that what I can afford to get rid of right now is we'll get rid of the bone right there and then we'll pick up that eyeglass. Is there anything else around here that's jumping out at us? Got one over that way, 13 meters. Probably head for it. See what we can find over there. This also has given us a decent supply of sand, so that along the way we should be able to make ourselves some glass, too. We've already gone through six meters of stone. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. What is that right there? Another treasure chest? What's in there? There's not enough space in our inventory? Alright, we'll get rid of some of the dirt. I don't need dirt. Let's... Let's wipe out some dirt over here. There we go. And so we got a few more old parts, and we got another book of dimensional theory. Nice. Okay, this is going to remain open for, like, the remainder of the week, so you don't really have to worry about paying for it again. You can kind of just do your business here, grab the things that you need to grab, and stay moving. Cool. Well, I feel like we've gathered enough copper ore, and we've gotten a few parts today. And so since the grinder is, like, the main thing that I wanted to get done, let's save a little bit of stamina 
Just in case we end up needing it, because I think we will end up needing it. Oh, it's a rainy day right now. I thought it was nighttime already. I was like, dude, I was only underground for like eight seconds. How is it nighttime already? Uh, it's nighttime already because, you know, the sun's not out, so I guess that works. Hey, we leveled up to five, too, so now we're at 235 stamina. Good stuff. I'm going to gather up whatever stones I can from around here. If I have to beat down some rocks, that works, too. But for the moment, let's just grab the stuff that's kind of floating and free off to the side. We've got some sticks right there. That sounds good. I could definitely use some more wood. A little bit more wood on that side as well. I'm not trying to go too ham-fisted crazy with the stuff that I'm picking up, but I do want to make sure that we've got a little bit of a glut of materials before we go to bed for the day. I wonder what I use those for. They sell for a lot. They're worth a fortune, so... Might be able to do something like that. The crown jewel of the old world used to restore and release massive amounts of energy. Now that's basically uranium, right? Uranium fever rolling across the land. Uranium fever. <laughs> Alright, well I've gathered up all the stuff that we need for the grinder right now. I need to make a... Well, I think I have the stuff that I need for the grinder. Didn't I need two grinding stones, though? I think I needed two grinding stones. I've also got my stone bricks over there, but like, I don't have any storage space, so maybe I should build some storage chests or something. I don't know if we get access to a backpack or something later on, it's gonna make our inventory bigger. Actually, I think you buy the slots if I remember right. Like, you need money, and then you can unlock these slots over here, and you need 400 galls to get that, yeah, okay. Alright, makes sense. Uh, can I build a chest over here then? I just wanna like, build a storage chest. We've got a small wooden storage, yeah, let's do that. We're a little bit low on energy. But I think we can make it work. Just gotta chop down some light. I gotta find good trees over here. Excellent candidates for mercantile usage. There we go. Oh, that was the whole thing right there. Okay. All right, got some plant fibers. Looks good. Gets these bushes cleared on out over here. These will regrow over time, so don't worry about it too much. If you find that you're like clear cutting the entire map on accident, don't stress, the trees will come back. They actually grow. They start out as little bushes, then they turn into like these guys right here. Then they turn into thin trees, and like it's like an evolutionary process. They come back though, so it's not that big of a deal if you end up wiping them all out. And in fact, I quite like having a little bit of a vista on the side of my house so that I don't have to worry about it. Makes me happy. Let's go back on over here, and I need some more stone too. We got a little bit of energy left. I don't know if it's going to be enough to really get the stuff done that I want to get done. But I'm going to try really, really hard, and you guys are just going to have to accept that that's good enough for now, okay? If somebody tries their best and they still fail, you know, that sucks. But the moral support from someone else acknowledging the fact that you tried really, really hard can often be enough, okay? So at this point, I really feel like storage chests are the next place we need to take this. Just to make sure that we can keep all of our goodies in line. I'm going to go ahead and grab this wood on the way out. We're going to have a perfect day where I wipe out, like, all of our stamina in one big burst. I think that's the way to do it. Looks good. I don't know if I want to take driftwood or whatever from the side of the road and use it for high-quality crafts, but, you know. I'm Chiwa, the smallest of the Hulu brothers. There are seven of us, so uh, it'll probably take you a while to get used to it. <laughs> all right. Hey, you're the new builder, right? I'm Chiwa. I live to fish, but a big one broke my fishing rod yesterday. Can you make me a new one? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Alright, so apparently I have another mission that I need to get done right now. We're gonna take care of it. It's gonna be okay, everybody. Uh, I need a wooden storage. Yeah, get two of them, actually. That sounds really good. Uh, my storage is full, so I've left something on the ground. What can I afford to lose right now? What things are not inherently sexy to me at the moment? I'll probably get rid of the steak. Leave me alone, internet. It's not my fault. Like, we don't, we don't need this stuff right now. We're full up. We got too many things. I'm gonna get rid of the apples, too. There we go. Can I put my storage inside? I would prefer for my storage to be on the inside the house. That's what would make me feel better about my existence right now. Yeah, just kind of like, perfect. Just kind of throw it around, you know what I mean? We'll put, like, treasures and other goodies at the foot of the bed so we can keep an eye on it, because we know. We know there's burglars out here trying to steal our stuff, trying to get after it, but the goodies and the valuables will go inside this chest right here. And then I'll come back and get them later. I don't know what the books are useful for, but I am sort of interested in finding out. 
Like, I sort of want to, like, take a look and see what we can do right there. I've got my grinder, so let's go... I think I've got enough stones to make another one. We're out of energy, but I don't think energy affects building. So, yeah, let's make our little thingy over here. I got a grindstone right there. Looks good. What else do I need? So I've got those, I've got the copper bars, and I've got the old parts. All right, let's do it. So the grinders go right there. And then I need the bars, these hot bars in the yard. And then I need old parts. So we will throw that in where it goes. Cool. And we'll put that in right there. And huzzah, we've got ourselves a grinder. I don't know how long the grinder takes in order to get things done. But I'm just going to put it like over here, I guess. Can I rotate it? That's what I would like to do. How do I rotate it? T. K. Yeah, you go right there. Perfect. And so from here now, we could take copper bars and we can make some blades if we really wanted to. Let's get some copper bars started. We're going to make all of those right there. We're going to refuel this real fast. And then we're also going to grab our bricks from over here. And we're going to refuel that furnace too so that it's kind of like burning and doing its thing over the course of the night. So then we wake up in the morning, hopefully we'll have productive crafts over here. Hopefully. I'm going to go ahead and sleep and we'll get our energy back, throw ourselves under the covers real fast. And hopefully it'll be alright. Let's dive out of bed. What do we have going on outside today? Anything? No mail? So we basically just got like a free day to do whatever we want to do. Three copper bars are done over on that side. I would say probably that we should make more copper bars over here too. I want to have lots and lots of copper bars. We've also got our bricks done. I think I got to gather wood today. I'd like to get a big supply of wood for later. So that in the off chance that we need it, let's wipe out some of these bushes on our property too. They're kind of in the way, and they're taking up like our equitable building space, and so I'd like that to not exist anymore. Then we'll chop down some trees. We'll kind of stay moving. We'll get a little bit of XP stacked up. Now would be an advantageous time for us to go down into the ruins while we've got our prepay all nice and taken care of. Well, you know, let's clear cut the hill first. I don't think we can do the big trees yet. I think we need the copper axe to do that, or the bronze axe, or whatever it is. I've made it up to the iron tech tree playing this game in the past. I've never made it further than that because, I, oh, we can do these trees right here. Nice, okay. Well, goodbye, weird little black oak trees. It's time for you to go. I'm assuming they're black oak. They kind of look like black oak a little bit. Can't do that one. We need a better axe for that one. Okay. Let's clear off the hillside for right now, and I'm sure everything will turn out amicably. Not bad for our first little project. Now we've got like a nice little pasture next to our house. And we've got a bunch more wood so that I can keep all this stuff refueled. So there we go. More wood for everybody. I highly recommend with this game building as many of like these random little forgy things as you possibly can. It will help out in the long term. You can also expand the size of your yard a little bit later. And you are going to have to do that. You're not going to have a choice. But, what do we have going on for the bridge? So we've got a skiver over here, we need a marble plank for that, a bronze pipe. We've got marble, okay. We also need bronze bars. We've got a civil cutter on this side. Civil cutter requires copper blades, I think you use this for boards. And I think you also use it for other cutting projects. Like you can make, I think at the civil cutter you can actually make like plates of metal as well, I think. It looks like we have most of the stuff required for this. We're going to have to make some copper blades. So let's go ahead and I'm going to get the copper blades going. Yeah, refuel that with power stones very rapidly. We only have two power stones, which is a bit of a bummer. Oh uh, yeah, go ahead and power it up. It's got three days worth of power left. Good. Go ahead and make the copper blades over here. Actually, I think we're going to have to go down into the mine. I'm going to need some stuff if we're going to make this work. Let me grab a little bit more stone while I'm in the neighborhood too. Just for the extra marble, and for some of the extra little things you can get from there, too. Like, I'm not trying to have, like, a metric ton of random stuff, but I am trying to have a little bit more. I also need to do some inventory management real fast, so that when we go down to the mine, if we find anything else that's, like, curious, and takes up space, like, we can just have that. And so over here, I'm gonna throw that in there. Can I just, like, shift-click some of this stuff? Ah, I can right-click it in. Good. 
So all of that can go in there. I don't think I'm going to need the boxing gloves anytime soon. And then we'll just keep everything else squared away. Back to the mines we go. So what I'm really looking for right now while we're in here... Oh, that man got his tracksuit pants on right now. I'm a little jealous. How come I didn't come with tracksuit pants? I feel like tracksuit pants are like an important part of who I am. Defines who I am, Mom! But anyways, I need tin and I need copper. Luckily, they should be like somewhere around each other. Honestly, this is a really ineffective way to mine copper, if I'm being honest with you. As a geologist, usually you use leaching. So you like dump a whole bunch of corrosive shit into the earth and then once you do that everything else melts away and then all that's left is the copper just sitting there waiting to be picked up is it the best for the environment no probably pretty terrible for the environment all things considered but it is the most effective way if you're trying to get copper out of a seam that's how it's done oh there's a bunch of stuff down there let's dig deep and see if we can get that stuff it's probably going to take us a little bit to get down there. I've got a funny feeling that this is going to be the goodies down here. This is going to be like the ultimate plus five power sort of lich slaying. And we just have to dedicate the time and the resources to get after it. What is that? A monster toy piece. Okay. There's also something right there, too. They've added new items. I've never seen that before in all the early accesses. So I don't know what that is, but I think we probably need it. We've got a galloping horse relic right there. I guess it depends how far out we want to dig. Uh, dig, 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 we dig the whole day through. We dig, 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 it's what we like to do. It ain't no trick to get rich quick. Go into the mine and then we take a little shit. A joystick. Okay. There's something weird down here. What is this? I don't know what it is. But like I kind of feel like we should like sort of like dig at it. Like maybe something good will happen if we just like keep digging in its general direction. I don't know if I'm going to have the energy to get this one out. We're running a little bit low right now. What's that? The thinking can. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to need to, like, jetpack my ass out of this weird little ditch that I put myself in. Uh, we're out of energy for right now. We could probably do some other little tasks throughout the day, like going back to the research center and being like, Hey, Dwug, what is this thing right here? And that'll probably kick off a couple of quests that we can sort of, like, tacitly keep in the back of our mind while we're doing other things. Where did I come in here? I don't recall the access point via which I came in. There it is. Perfect. We can just press E to return to the entrance. But that's the quitter's way out. We are not quitters. We are not quitters. We do things the right way. Or the slightly wrong way, but not the completely wrong way. Which I guarantee you that hotkey is. Alright, I don't know a lot about that hotkey, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be responsible for the downfall of our civilization. Alright. Either way, though, I think it looks like we're out of time for the day, so my name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me. Gail, what do you have? Alright. You should get to know some of the people living in this town for your own benefit. I made a list of store owners within the city walls, but you should go introduce yourself. Alright. I don't know if I should be taking orders from a man who has clearly used refuse squares to create his beard, but you know what? I'm going to allow it for now. But anyways, my name is Splattercat. I'll see y'all later. Thanks for stopping on by. This is my time at Porsche. You should buy the game down below. It's a lot of fun. I like it. I like it a lot. I'll see y'all later. Thanks for stopping on by. Take care. Hi, do, and I'll see you next time.